What are you two birds flying on, huh? I'm talking the security about... monitor at the country club, I think. Are they stealing my soul? Minutes of afterplay. Yeah. Leaving parts raw from overuse. Robert. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Petty Stidor, and this is my review of Saturday Night Live that aired last night, April 5th. Christopher Walken was the host, and I had very high expectations for this episode. But yet again, I am less disappointed. I have watched the episode four times, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I didn't. It wasn't funny. And here's why. Okay, so the show opens with a piece on Hillary Clinton. Um, Bill Clinton is there, that's uh, Daryl Hammond, does an excellent job at Bill Clinton. Um, of course, Amy Poehler doing a fantastic job as Hillary Clinton. That's not the problem. The problem is that every time Saturday Night Live goes after Hillary Clinton, they do it by putting her in a good light. I thought they were going to talk about the Bosnia thing where she said she was under sniper fire. They could have went nuts with that. They didn't even mention it. What a shame. Shame on you writers at Saturday Night Live. I'm pissed. I am pissed off. Talking to people. That is what I love to do best. <laughs> that brings us to the monologue. Christopher Walken came out and he said it was his hundredth time hosting the show. That was pretty funny. Um, it was his seventh time hosting and not much happened here. He just had like a question answer thing with the audience and it was mildly amusing. You didn't miss much if you didn't see it. After the monologue they went into a pre-made commercial for the annual uh, pills. Uh, it's very funny to see the girls running around acting like raging lunatics. It's funny. The problem is, you've seen it already. If you saw the episode where Tina Fey hosted, you saw it then. Then you saw it again when they repeated that episode. And then you saw it again last night. How about something new? Are we asking too much? Make a new commercial. That was funny. It was funny then. But it's not as funny now. Okay, that there, where Kristen Wiig is licking the dog, that's still funny. In the next bit, Christopher Walken is a high school drama teacher, and he's going over the songs in the musical Grease, and the principal of the school asked him to censor some of the lyrics because they were a little perverse. Um, mildly amusing at best. I expect more. I don't know about you, but... I just expect more. Do you know what that means? Wasn't very yeah. funny. Yeah? That's just me. Come here, tell me what you think of that. In the next skit, Christopher Walken plays a creepy coworker yeah, yeah, who has so an obsession with another employee who is leaving the company, played by Jason Sudeikis. Could have been funny, almost was funny. One problem was that Christopher Walken delivered his lines with zero emotion at all. Like, he was supposed you, to be almost be in love with this guy, but you would never know it by the tone of his voice or the way he was acting. Plus, he kept staring at the cue card, which distracted me from the whole skit. I just couldn't help but stare at him staring at the cue cards. So, that could have been funny, but it wasn't. We were out of That brings us to the only funny thing in the whole night, it was laser cats, and it was funny. And they were running around with the cats, and they're shooting each other with the lasers, and there was even a pug puppy in this one uh, pawing at the cat. It was very funny. Go on YouTube or something and find it if you haven't seen it. It was really good. After Laser Cats, they did a skit about planning a surprise party for Christopher Walken's daughter, and Kristen Wiig is so excited she just can hardly contain herself, and she winds up jumping through a window. Pretty funny. I remember laughing when Kristen Wiig jumps through the window. There it is. And it was all downhill from here. Ask, does anyone want to help? <laughs> Okay, the 
musical act was Panic at the Disco, and I'm just going to come out and say it. I did not like this band at all. In fact, I think they kind of sucked. Um, what's with the uh, Sgt. Pepper outfits over here? Didn't get it. Next! Hillary Clinton on Tuesday said she is not a quitter and compared herself to Rocky Balboa. The washed up, over the hill white contender who, despite a Herculean effort, is soundly beaten by the charismatic black guy. <laughs> Next was Weekend Update, and what you just heard was probably the best thing they said. News is usually pretty good. Sometimes I think the writers focus too much on the news and let everything else go to hell. Amy Poehler and Seth Meyers deliver the news flawlessly. They're really good at it, and overall it was very good. Christopher. I can't believe you made it. After Weekend Update, there was a skit about Christopher Walken having a family reunion, and the only time I laughed is when Bill Hader did his impersonation of Christopher Walken. After that, I got bored of it real quick and was waiting for the next skit. I was hoping that they would do a Continental. If you know what that is, you know what I'm talking about. Christopher Walken always did the Continental. They didn't do it, this show. I was waiting for it, they didn't do it, and I was really pissed off. You remember my kids, Maxine. The next two skits aren't really even worth mentioning. Christopher Walken played a guy who was afraid of his plants and gave you gardening tips. He put googly eyes on all his plants. And the one after that, they made fun of the show Top Chef, and it wasn't funny. And I've never seen the show, but it shouldn't matter. You shouldn't have to see the show for it to be funny. It might be funnier if you're familiar with the show, but it shouldn't rely on you having seen the show. It should be cross the board funny. And it wasn't. They should have did a Continental. Shame on them. Shame on you writers. Shame on you. That brings us to our last skit of the night. It was Fred Armisen doing uh, Larry King and Daryl Hammond playing Jimmy Carter. They both do a good job. Uh, Daryl Hammond's Jimmy Carter is very, very good. Problem is, the last skit of the night should include the host of the show. Am I wrong? How is the host of the show not in the last skit of the night? It's ridiculous to me. And it wasn't funny. As good as Daryl Hammond plays Jimmy Carter, the material just wasn't funny. If it was funny, don't you think they would have put it at the beginning of the show? They saved the dud material for the end of the night, or the material that they're just not too sure of. Okay, well that's the end of the show. Hope you liked this review. Sorry, the show just wasn't very good, and that's not my fault. If you liked it, good for you. I thought Christopher Walken was funnier in his past episodes. He gave a very dry performance, and he stared at the cue cards all night long. Not much else to say. See you next time.